now let's have a look on uh, one of the context groups that I've already created and I've also configured it with a with a physical uh, source repository as well as a database so I open this context group and this is one of the practical example of real life how this can be used practically for example so this context group has four variables one very the first one is the source directory and it means when the environment will be dev then the source directory will be reading this uh, employees file from the dev directory and when it will be prod then it will be the pro directory so prod is always going to have their own connections like own directory addresses and also for dev there will be completely different two environments and two completely different addresses for that and similarly for the database also we have these three variables that i can see here for the database we have atlanta dev and here we have atlanta prod database so when we want to when we select dev then the files will be picked up from the dev instance and the files will be written into the dev database when we select prod the files will be picked up from the prod instance and will be written in the pro database so now let's click finish and i show you the files that i have created already so here i have created two different directories one is dev one is prod if i go in dev i have a file employees.csv and uh, we can see this file has only three records in the dev environment and if we see the prod so in prod this file has roughly 10 10 records so when we insert data in the database we're going to see that is it x actually picking the data from dev or prod so now let's switch to talent and so what you need to do is when you created a context group in the central repository then you need to select that here in the context group by simply like when you select this icon here you need to simply select that context group and select ok and automatically all the variables will be picked up and here you can see the values even the values for the prod are these and the values of dev are these so i have completely generalized this whole solution and in the file input delimited i can see that the source directory will be the address of the file will be picked up from the context variable so I only specify the context variable and based on the environment the address will automatically be picked up similarly for the database I'm mentioning here context.db server the database and the port but I so this is picking the data from these context variables so these are the three values for the database but automatically based on the environment the values will be picked up so if I'm going to select the development environment then this file from the dev directory will be picked up and it will be loaded inside the Atlanta dev database and we're going to see afterwards that if it works and similarly for production so now let's let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio and show you here that this is the Atlanta Pro database and we already have this table there and if we if we execute it so we can see there are no records in this one similarly for atlanta dev we also have currently no data so here in the run window we have the option on the very right if we want to select the dev uh, environment or the prod so right now we're going to select the dev environment i select dev and you see automatically these values are picked up and now I execute the data will be picked up from dev directory and inserted into the dev database now I execute and you will see so as I shown you in the source directory that in the dev directory the file has only three records so these three records are displayed on the console and they should be in the database now let's see Atlanta dev database it should have those three records and perfect it has those three records and right now we we don't have anything in the prod because we didn't insert the data in the prod environment so in the second place I'm going to select this prod environment I select prod 
automatically these variables are populated with the production data and then I execute and you see in production I show you the file with 10 records in the source directory so automatically the file is picked up from there with the 10 records and now if we see here in Atlanta prod so we should have these 10 records inserted so this is basically the general methodology with every single company out, out there who are working with different environments so we need to we need to understand the concept of context groups and then linking those context groups with the integration jobs and then selecting the corresponding uh, environment at the time of execution and then the values are automatically picked up and then the data is inserted